Since the start of the pandemic last year, more than 3,100 workers in tourism and lifestyle services have benefited from career conversion programs. These schemes allow companies to accelerate their digitalization plans and to equip workers with new skills, especially in digital sales and marketing. In total, there are 23 career conver conversion programs or CCPs for the tourism and lifestyle service sector. Our CCPs have benefited more than 3,100 workers from over 200 companies. So on the average, every company um, has about 15 uh, workers actually benefiting from it. And this is a near 30-fold increase compared to 2019. Now with companies prevent, uh, preparing themselves for the eventual recovery of the sector, we expect demand for these CCPs to continue to remain strong. We will thus extend these CCPs to benefit another 1,400 workers. Joining me now to share more is the President of the National Association of Travel Agents Singapore, Stephen Le. Welcome back to the show, Stephen. How have your members Thank benefited you. from these career conversion programs? And how have they pivoted their business at a time when travel has virtually come to a standstill? Well, during the last uh, 18 months, most agents have been going through a challenging time. And some of their key concerns is really on cost reductions or cost containment, uh, which means that uh, they have probably deployed some of their staff to do social distancing ambassadors or to other uh, temporary job roles, which means the travel agent community also have a smaller workforce. And this is probably the most appropriate time for this group of workforce to be retrained and upscale. The career conversion program provides a wide range of digital marketing opportunities that's uh, tailored and make it suitable for agents to identify the new uh, travel requirements. And this is a time for travel agents to reimagine travel. In the new norms of travel, what would the travel be looking like? How do we better engage our uh, customers? So what we have seen is to be a future-ready uh, set of travel agents that are able to provide different skill sets. And some of this, we have already seen some of the agents deploying some of these skill sets uh, to some of the temporarily pivoted businesses that they're doing today. Mm. Agents has been conducting webinars to promote destinations, to continue to engage customers even during this period of time. Mm. And through some of this engagement, it's important that we continue to engage our customers uh, and to make sure that we are providing them knowledge of travel. And some of the agents has even gone further to use digital skills and to conduct polling and survey to better understand customers and their intent to travel and what they are looking for. And some of them even collected the data and to better analyze so that they better understand what they can provide the, uh, the customers when the destinations are reopened and to serve them a whole range of uh, products that is going to be more appropriate for them. Stephen, when the time comes for people to travel again, I imagine the experience will be quite different. Are your travel agents ready for the new normal of travelling? Yes, uh, when travel resumes, as we start seeing with Germany, uh, the key word now really is on safe travel. How do we travel safely? Um, so it's important that we now build up the right skill set of people um, and our travel agents will become a holistic travel advisors that will be able to help our customers to better plan a safe itinerary, provide them on destination safety requirements and protocol, and more importantly, uh, with the skill set they, they have uh, engaged and learned, is to provide a different level of customers' interaction. I think this is something that will become more hybrid. It's a future economy where our travel agents need to be get ready for. While we do not see big groups of travel resume immediately, uh, on the top of the mind where we've seen today, a lot of travelers are requesting travel based on their current family group size, a uh, smaller group of five uh, that they are traveling. But with better vaccination rate across destination, and as our travelers become more knowledgeable about safety measures and distancing, gradually, I believe, uh, travel will return with a bigger group size once the confidence is rebuilt among our travellers.